So today my wife gets to sleep in. Gets to go to work a little late. There I go, off in the morning, all on my own like a grown up. Walking to the car. Well, have a blessed day, everybody. this scene yesterday in the vlog so I'm just gonna put it in here while I'm talking right now but this apple crumb cake oh my gosh I can't even I can't even describe into words how amazing it is I highly recommend it here is that famous scene that comes after this Nobody puts baby in a corner. Um, another fun fact. He really didn't want to say that line at all. And again, again, it was another famous line. Nobody puts baby in a corner. Whoa! That's right! You go, boy! You chipmunks, ready to sing your song? I say we are. Yeah, let's sing it now. Okay, Simon. Okay. Okay, Theodore. Okay. Okay, Alvin. Hi guys. I got to sleep in today. I don't remember the last time that I slept till like ten in the morning. Even though when Chester woke up, I was still um, twisting and turning. But I stayed on the bed. And I didn't get up till 10. I got up. I did my coffee. And then I plopped myself on the sofa. And I started watching Dirty Dancing. One of my old time favorite movies. As you can see, I knew a lot of stuff about it. And I love to share fun facts about movies that I enjoy. <clears throat> if you didn't know... Um, baby, that's her name in the movie, Jennifer Grey. She was on, she, in the movie, the role she was playing, she was only 17 years old. And the stuff that she had to deal with in the movie itself, portraying a 17 year old, I'm like, <clears throat> that's a very mature 17 year old. But it's a movie, it's a movie. And they weren't even the ones who were um, first picked to do that movie. It was other people, other actors. Um, Patrick Swayze, when he came on, he wanted Jennifer to come on. But since she worked with him on, on another movie, she didn't want to work with him again. So he had to convince her. And he did. And they made the movie. Um, the love scene actually that I was making fun of was actually a lot longer and very, um, <clears throat> but that was a deleted scene. They didn't allow it. And, um, the abortion theme, 
um, which I had read that when they first showed the movie, a lot of people didn't understand what they were trying to portray with that scene. It was so obvious, but yet again, it was the 1980s when this movie came out, mid-80s. So I guess we were still a little close-minded back then, not like now. Um, but you could you could tell that we were very reserved. America was still very reserved back then. They didn't show a lot of stuff, which I enjoy that more. But that's a different subject. But yeah, that's all I did. And then I just got up. I'm taking the day off today. It's either Monday or Thursday for me to take the day off of everything. Except for taking care of my nephews. But I mean the day off is like not worrying about anything. Just concentrating on me and on Chester. Because we need this. Especially me. I'm the type of person that I need to like this connect and recharge because if I don't do that I'm gonna feel like a ticking time bomb so for my sanity I disconnect and I recharge myself and the way that I do it is simple it's just not do anything and take my long baths and watch my favorite old time movies and just sit on a couch and do nothing so I'm taking today off but anyways, I have to go pick up my nephews. I'm wearing my Sinner's Redemption Motorcycle Ministry supporter. Well, I'm actually in the ministry. Um, and I have, I'm supposed to have my colors. Um, this is a motorcycle ministry that I'm in. And so far it has been amazing. I have nothing but wonderful things to say about this ministry if you ever are in a hard time you will want this ministry on your side i feel emotional <laughs> um only because when chester and i we just went we just recently in the summertime were um accepted in and Chester got into the motorcycle accident in September, and the people in this ministry ran to our side. Like, if they have known us for years, they made us a priority during that weekend that Chester had the accident. Like, these women who are in it ran to my side and did not allow me to do anything for that weekend. Um... And I am so grateful to them for that because they did not allow me to think, to be alone. They kept me busy. Even if they didn't do much, just by being there and sitting there with me and having conversations, like I did not realize the how bad this situation could have been. Um, but they were there. And the men, they took care of Chester's bike and brought it from one place to another. Um, they took, they just took care of us when it came to food, um, with, um, even glasses, like Chester's glasses broke and I'm just, I was just amazed at that because Chester and I are the type of people that we run to people's side. You know, we're those people that drop anything to run and, you know, sometimes you just, since you give, it's like when you receive is so weird. Like when we were receiving during that weekend, I just felt like, wow, this is so weird. I'm not used to this. But it was amazing. And I'm so grateful. So, and not just them, even my church, the fountain that I go to, the same way too. And when I lost a baby, the. My Fast and Furious click, that's how I called them, they dropped everything they were doing and they rushed to my apartment to come see me to see if I was okay. You know, who who does that besides people that love and care you for, and care about you? Um, yeah, these are things that forever are embedded in my life and have changed my attitude towards people. 
So, uh, yeah. I just felt like sharing that. So, if you ever need to feel like you need a family, um, Sinner's Redemption <laughs> or The Fountain. Well, we're both in one place, you know? So, come join us. So babe, being that I forgot to ask yesterday, what was yesterday's highlight for you? Well, yesterday's highlight was the moment everybody figured out what song was playing on the radio. And then everybody started singing, Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Yeah, it was a good highlight. That was my highlight. So for me, yesterday's highlight was just being with friends and celebrating our friend's birthday so what is your highlight for today my highlight for today was that i got to see my nephews again we chilled at their house for a little while before we came back home that was mine okay well my highlight for today was getting to sleep in (laughs) <laughs> amazing and sitting down and watching Dirty Dancing for the millionth time that was my highlight